This video demonstrates how Zscaler, ZIA and Sentinel-1 Singularity Platform integrate to provide you the tools to deal with advanced threats. Sentinel-1 Singularity XDR Platform utilizes Zscaler's logs, API and inline enforcement abilities for delivering a tightly coupled workflow. Once a threat is detected, Sentinel-1 can automatically respond by making API calls to Zscaler to move the impacted user into a more restricted group. Based on the new group membership, Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange enforces policies that are pre-assigned for that user group, potentially taking away access to certain sensitive applications, restricting operations allowed by that user, or quarantining the user altogether. Let's see how this can be done. Inside of the Sentinel-1 console, we have our Marketplace Configuration page. Select the Zscaler integration. We're configuring this for a fictitious company called XDR Tech. Input the IDP base URL where user membership can be managed via SKIM and the quarantine group name you have pre-configured in your identity provider service. Also input the API token. This information can be found by going to the ZIA administration, authentication settings, identity provider, skim section and cut and paste the information. Star rules can be configured to take response actions based on threat detected by Sentinel-1. We can write a custom Sentinel-1 storyline active response or star rule to tailor what to watch for and trigger responses in your ZIA environment, such as restrict internet access via browser isolation only or cut off internet access entirely. Let's take a look at the configuration in ZIA console. We have pre-configured a user group named isolation in the Zscaler ZIA console. Under URL category section, we can see that we have a policy set up to allow users in this restricted group to be able to access file hosting destinations only through a browser isolation session, which revokes their ability to download or upload any files. This allows the user to still work, but with enhanced data and application protection. To prevent users in this restricted group from being able to upload and download files via FTP, SFTP, TFTP tools, we will also set the firewall control policy to block such actions. First, let's take a look at our user Marty. Under policy, select user management. Marty belongs to a group named XDR Tech with his regular entitlements of access to applications. Pivoting over to his user account, Marty is allowed to work like he normally would go to websites and even upload data to third-party sites like File.io. But let's say Marty gets a little bit adventurous and finds some hacking tools on the internet. He tries to download Mimikatz. We can see that immediately Sentinel-1 triggers a detection. Now, if we were in a prevention policy, this would absolutely be stopped. But for the purpose of this demonstration, we are currently in a detect only mode. Going over to Sentinel-1 console, we see that the threat has been detected. In a moment, XDR response policy is triggered. The policy has been implemented with Marty being moved to a restricted group. In addition, within the Sentinel-1 console, the custom rule we had previously configured is also appended to the threat indicators. Pivoting to the Zscaler console, we can see that Marty has been added to the isolation group. So now let's go see what Marty's experience would look like at the endpoint. On his desktop screen, he's been notified that he's now been redirected to a browser isolation session. If he chooses to upload a file, he is no longer able to do so. This prevents the potential of sensitive data exfiltration. If Marty tries other file transfer mechanisms, like FTP, then those attempts will get blocked by ZIA as well, due to the firewall policies assigned to this restricted group. As you can see, with Sentinel-1 and Zscaler working in concert, you are empowered to protect your company's endpoints and applications with greater flexibility, stronger security, and faster response.